always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. <laughs> Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A teddy bear. That's right. Where did you get brown paint? I mixed it myself. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay, first, start with some yellow. <laughs> then get a little bit of red and mix it in. It's turning orange! Get a little bit of blue and mix it in. Look, it's turning brown. Yeah, you mixed yellow and red and blue and made brown. What are you going to call your new brown? I'm going to call it Dirt Brown. Oh, like the dirt in my vegetable garden. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, I made the color brown. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting... Brown! I'm crunching leaves! But only brown leaves. <gasps> I see one! Let's look for more! Let's look for one more! Do you see it? There it is! We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which book is brown? There it is! Brown book. Which pants are brown? There it is! Brown pants. Which cuckoo clock is brown? 
There it is. Brown cuckoo clock. Which table is brown? There it is. Brown table. Marvelous! colors like the color brown brown is here and there I see it everywhere brown is all around in the sky and on the ground It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Achoo! How loud is an elephant's sneeze? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Achoo! Written by Deepa Balsavar, illustrated by Nancy Raj. Achoo! went Monkey. She had a terrible cold. That was loud. I almost fell off the tree, said Cuckoo, poking his head through the leaves. Really? asked Monkey. If this is loud, how loud do you think an elephant sneeze would be? I can only guess, said Cuckoo. Maybe as loud as this. Ah-choo! That's not loud enough, said Porcupine. An elephant's sneeze is much louder than that. Ah-choo! He blew out his little cheeks and his pointy nose quivered. Grunt, grunt, said Wild Boar. That's not loud enough. An elephant's sneeze must be huge. And taking a deep breath, she went, uh, achoo! Grunt, grunt. What's all this noise? asked Deer. Do you know how loud an elephant sneeze is? asked Monkey. I always sneeze politely, said Deer with a sniff. But an elephant must have a huge, disgusting sneeze like this. Ah, ah, chew! Ah, 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 chew! Excuse me. Ah, chew! All the animals jumped. Wild Buffalo joined the group. That's an elephant's sneeze, he said proudly. Deer, wild boar, porcupine, cuckoo, and monkey looked at him with admiration. Not bad, but not quite, purred a low voice. Wild Buffalo's nose quivered. Tiger leaped out from behind the bushes. She threw her head back, opened her mouth wide, and gave the loudest sneeze you could ever imagine. She went, ah, ah, Elephant walked into the clearing. Pardon me, he said to Tiger. Do you have a cold too? I have one, and I am going to sneeze. What? roared Tiger. What? bellowed Wild Buffalo. What? barked Deer. What? grunted Wild Boar. What? squealed Porcupine. What? sang Cuckoo. Oh, wow, thought Monkey. Uh, 
Well, ah, wet elephant. The whole forest waited. Here it comes, thought monkey. Ah, Ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt good, said Elephant. Nothing like a good sneeze to clear out the trunk. Then he looked around and wondered, Where have all the others gone? Cuckoo began to laugh. Now do you know how big an elephant sneeze is, he asked Monkey. Yes, said Monkey, but not another question, wailed Cuckoo and flew hurriedly away. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Monkeys. Ooh, monkeys like me. That's right. Today, we'll all pretend to be monkeys, just like you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many monkeys did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said... No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. Let's count how many monkeys there are. One, two, three, four. Four, four little, little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama, Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now how many monkeys are there? One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's count how many are left. One, two. Two, two little, little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many are left? One. One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That's the song. Well done. Yay! Thank you for singing with me. You too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Letter Safari! Let's find some beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! Mr. Frog's guitar! G, g, guitar! G, g, guitar! Do you hear that? Guitar begins with G. G, G, guitar. Let's find more beginning letters. Hi, monkey. <laughs> Look, a ball. Listen, B, B, ball. B, B, ball. 
What letter makes the beginning sound in ball? B. <laughs> That's right. B b ball. <laughs> Pig is painting. Listen. P p painting. P p painting. <laughs> What letter do you hear? P. Perfect. Well, hello, Hedgehog. Listen, Hedgehog. Hedgehog. What letter do you hear? H. That's right. Hedgehog's name begins with H. Yay! <laughs> Let's listen to the beginning letters again. G, g, guitar. What's that letter? G. B, b, ball. What's that letter? B. <laughs> painting. What's that letter? P. <laughs> Hedgehog. What's that letter? H. Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. G. H. <laughs> Thanks for going on a letter safari with me. See you soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter G. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I have an idea. Let's dig letters in the sand with a shovel. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Monkey, you go first. All right. <laughs> G. Great. I'll try next. G. <laughs> Terrific tracing. Now let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try it. <laughs> Nice job! <laughs> I'll trace the next one. G! You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? G! Exactly! Uppercase G. And what's this letter? G. That's right, lowercase g. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. G. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs>
running it, Ditto. Hmm, this is tricky. Oh, there it is! And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock.